a 3S pack that actually fits. Wow. Pretty crazy. Oh, my ramps, everything is destroyed. Trailer here is just temporary. So I'm taking this over to the um, little rock section because what I noticed about this RC car, what I think I noticed about this RC car is that it kind of has that uh, U4 rock bouncer, kind of rock racer kind of deal and I want to see if it can actually get up my uh, rocky trail that I've got back here right now I haven't been back here in weeks I haven't had the time man my my this is all a disaster I gotta I gotta change all this and I kind of knew this was gonna happen because I massively changed grade and just didn't have some time to do stuff it's all right though we're still good Eventually, we'll make it so that this thing is mint. But we are now on 3S, man. This was an actual... This was an actual RTR out of the box, meaning it even came with its own batteries for the remote. So, I mean, three batteries for that. Granted, one battery is a fail. I'm going to contact the company, see what's going on with that. Uh, but one thing I did want to bring out about this radio... This radio is actually pretty stinking slick. It has a really, really good feel in the hand. Steering wheel does not have foam, but you don't need it, man. I just like, I don't know, I feel like this fits. And granted, this is a larger hand, but I also feel because of the way the trigger's located, I feel it's going to fit a smaller hand as well. So I think there's some positives with this thing. So we're going to take it... Uh, we're going to take it down this little rocky embankment. The only reason why it might not work is because the differentials are wide open. Look at the chasm. Dude, this thing is pretty slick. Like I said, it's on 3S now. Differentials are wide open. So I was curious to know if it would make it up this stuff. It's a big log here. I didn't even know that was there. Oh, into the cavern. It kind of does. Differentials being wide open, it's not going to do it, but... Oh, right in the mud. 
It's not what I wanted. <laughs> I didn't want it in the mud. That's all right. Once I fix, once I fix, it'll be mint. Splash proof, right? It says it's splash proof. Hammock needs to go away. See, I wanted to do have the bog hog here. If I had the bog hog or that other thing, I think I could have made some cool stuff here. Watch this, ready? Oh. <laughs> Splash proof, right? Well, definitely testing its splash proofness. Oh, durability. So, definitely getting that splash proof on. doing pretty good now the ESC is kind of saying something about this pack this is a 120 C pack it might not be the pack that you want for this but this is on 3s and I think if I take it easy we should be fine the way it sounds ripping through that puddle. So see what it was doing? It's like it doesn't like it. Ooh. But it is taking it though, man. Oh! Oh, dude, that's a picture. <laughs> that, right there, that is a picture. I thought I'd take a picture of that. <laughs> Highlight added. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that is not 
I didn't do that on purpose, man. That's literally just the way it goes. I take a picture. Highlight added. I don't know what the highlights added means, but oh, it speared it pretty good. So it is taking the 3S pack, just maybe a 100C pack isn't where you're going to want to be. The 100C pack just might be a little bit too much for it, but it is taking it though. So this is a 3S capable-ish. I mean, I shouldn't say capable-ish, because it is taking it. Like I said, we're going through the water here. Look at that. Ooh, right to that boulder. a little screamer oh. now that's what you don't want to do it says do not submerge fortunately it's not submerged Thing's a little ripper. God. Ah, oh, this thing's pretty fun, man. <laughs> it's taking a beating. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the whole thing, man, it's having fun, man. This little car, I am shocked, man. Look how good it goes through that water. Power is right through it. You know, if this had the mad vehicle wheels on it, I guarantee it would probably hydroplane right over it. Oh my God. So I do kind of want to just feel the motor right now because I've been ripping it on 3S. Oh my God, nothing. Nothing. What the hell? Dang. Grass is a little, little too uh, deep here. Oh, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> Thing is muddy. I'm gonna uh, shut it off and turn it back on. Make sure we haven't got like uh, some kind of ESC fault here. 
I'm gonna pop these uh, little clips off. See what we got going here. Motor is absolutely meant. ESC is meant. It's gonna turn it off. Turn it back on. See if that was low cut. It might have been low cut. And I also think the wheels, the wheels have water in them. So I gotta vent the tires. All right, man. <clears throat> this thing officially runs on 3S. Should you consistently run it on 3S? I'm gonna. So anyway, this is RC Guy Garage. This is running the uh, thing here. The uh, whatever it is, the Bezgar uh, HM124, which is an IPX5 rating. So it's splash proof. And it said something like mild water jet or something like that. So basically what it's saying is just don't submerge it. So yeah, sometimes, man, sometimes it's the little RCs that can do surprising things. And this RC right here is kind of doing it. So I'm out ripping it up in the backyard mud pit, kind of, sort of. What are you doing today?